We are live from Atlanta, Georgia's Dirty South Dome. And I noticed they've cleaned this place up a bit. Yeah, I remember finding a lot more severed fingers in my chili last time. And there were fewer bodies to step over in the men's room. Place is kind of losing its character. I miss the shit sandwiches. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Cincinnati Bengals battle. The Atlanta Vultures. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs. Newtons, I'd like to he said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you halfwit. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime milf lingerie girls team. What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all. Ho oh, ho, va 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 voom. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Boom, dead and dead. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, oh. ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. And he's able to grab that one somehow. And oh, holy smokes, he just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Bring your bacon to me. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball dirty trick. With the punishing hit. Oh, 
Second down and long. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just, oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. First down and less than he defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. He just got crushed. Second down and more than the QB would like. One, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Ah, another interception. You should give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. You'd expect him not to play. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Huh? And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second down and seven. was almost intercepted. <laughs> and that'll bring up third down and seven. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company. Bro. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit five. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is. Ouch! What is this? 80s wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost... 
Bill's got dead mutant bingo! All I need is 77 to fight it! Second down and nine. And another enter. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Eight. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Pow! With the brain scrambler. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. And it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot... It looks like the defense hit... And then he jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble! That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? 
sure they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple... <laughs> he did not see that coming, partner. Yeah, not a ground crew's got to come out and pick him up. This guy really kills the momentum. There should be a penalty for that. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Grab! Second down and two. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one. Two. Hot. 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 The receiver runs away from the pass marker? That's a good clue that something's not right. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot. One. Hot. Two. Hot. In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, the player on Roid Rage would win. Rumbling and stumbling, he could go all the way. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, Who's next? And that's a touchdown saving tackle right there. First and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. When the defense calls thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear the Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hot. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without no... Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! Well, the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And that's another turnover for the defense. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Kind of 
And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, with the punishing hit. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, what a brutal hit! Second down and a lot. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to fluff it, Tim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Third down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot Kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. The offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. And it's first and ten. Pick six, but dropped the interception. And that's why he's a defense schmuck. Second down and ten. You know, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Third down and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells... And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he'd better win. And it's first and ten. And the cornerback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time, and I have mastered it. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? If only it was... And he just 
Uh-huh. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick your head in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. And enough. And he just slipped away like a great pig. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Nicely done for a first down. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the rep didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a... Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Ah, another interception. Man, what a hit that was. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can... Boom, dead and dead. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, uh, uh, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Boy, these guys are gonna need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. Grab the coast. Why do we even come back and bother? This is a waste of my time. Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? Okay, man, kill. Kill, hold on. Get on now. Get on now. Get on now. Get on The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. It's two-yard run before he stopped. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. <laughs> First and eight to go. And they just 
popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting or dead. Second down in a very lot. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. And Lil Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, win they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses that is. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. And he's off to the races. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second and three. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Mama, just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. The offense is running low on receivers. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. The defense is down to their last line basher. He's going to have to suck it up and not die out there. They can bribe the refs in this game. Why not bribe the Grim Reaper? And it's first and ten. Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third down and ten. his bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Okay. Nice and easy like a 
two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. point with multiple interceptions the QB should just throw in the oh great tackle when his brain is unscrambled he'll be thinking about that hit yeah most likely in a conference at home nobody can touch an eyeball I take all you mutants out that's right what you talking about and it's first and ten oh that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life And that'll bring up second and one. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. And that'll bring up third and one. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a look and it keeps on ticking. Me. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And they throw, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. And he's he got a pop out but blew out his flip flop. Oh man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, 
the ref didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than boom. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I know how they said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Nah, this new QB don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. I've never seen a demon smile so much. He says his secret is that he's poisoned the minds of a thousand men. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Tom. The ref goes a penalty. You know, the NFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. He's still by charge. Yo, guys, suck. The defense is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. They need to play smart from here on out. That's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. You know, lousy kicks like that can be grounds for divorce in this league. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 20. The 10. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Rip. Defense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> First down and forever. Rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. The 30. He's in. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell here. It might be time to change the channel. I think Heidi's playing on Superstation WKRP. And it's first and ten.
And they line up for the extra point. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And he's off to the races. The 20. He's running out of gas now. No touchdown today. Looks like that defender ate his bleedies this morning. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Second down and long. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And they just popped his eyes into the back of his head. That quarterback could be hurting, or dead, or worse. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Yeah. Talk about you luck! The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense? I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can boom! <laughs> and it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here, taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.